Hi people, welcome to the channel. So today is I'm going to start a new series and it's called A Kid With A Dream and it's called that because I am a kid and I have a, a dream not not to not to be a millionaire or a billionaire but to leave an impact on this world to, to do something that I can look back on and be proud of and this series I'm going to talk about my thoughts I've accumulated in the week Sort to copy Stephen Bartlett a little bit, Diver a CEO, I do like that idea, but I feel like I can be more relatable with you guys because I haven't, I'm not a millionaire, I haven't achieved greatness, and so this is my journey to greatness. This is my dream of greatness as a kid. So welcome to the first episode of the series. Um, play this while you're doing something, play this while you're cleaning the dishes, or you can watch me. There's not going to be much editing. It's just going to be me, me, me talking. I've got my coffee here and I've got some notes right here. So I'm just going to talk about what I'm thinking about right now. So what I wanted to talk about is what, why I have started this channel and the sort of the, the meaning behind it. So for me personally, talk about my experiences. Last year, I would always go on PlayStation. It's something that I would always do. And I wouldn't call it a game and addiction, but on the weekends, I would spend seven, eight hours on there with my mates having a good time. But I always felt guilty for playing. I always felt like I could be doing something with my time. And I think a bit of that is because of my father. Now, my dad would always be working on the weekend, and he still does now, and he always he's always very productive. And there was a lot of DIY work around the house. So when I would play video games, I'd hear my dad working, making the most of his time. And by the end of the day, he could look back on what he did in the day. On a Saturday, he would put up a cabinet or make a cabinet, make a shelf, clean the garden. And I would have nothing to show because I've been on PlayStation. And this was the start of it for me. This was the start of like, okay, I've got time. Let me make the most of the time that I have. And... I remember finding a YouTuber called Andrew Kerb, and he sort of started that for me to, to go into discomfort and to go into finding ways to put yourself through pain, but in the end, having gratification and fulfillment from that. So that was the start of my journey. Now, my dad, um, with a good work ethic, and I think that is what motivated me to, to stop going on PlayStation and to start building these healthy habits to become a better person. But from that, from that good work ethic, it's sort of built up to this obsession of gratitude and going to the gym and coming home and making the most of your time. I'm recording this on Easter Day and the reason I'm saying that is because I have this voice now, this voice that is always in the back of my head. And whenever I try to relax or watch Netflix or go out with my mates or play PlayStation with my mates, there's this voice like telling me you could be being more efficient with your time. And it's always nagging me, always nagging me. And this is a great thing as I think because I have this voice, I can start stuff like a side hustle like YouTube and I can learn about investment and side hustles and stuff like that. But also it's a bad thing because I can't actually ultimately rest. I can't sit down for three hours or two hours with my family and watch a film and just live in the present because all I have in the back of my mind is you could be working right now you could be making the most of your time right now you could be doing this that the other thing and because I have that I can't have joy not joy I I can't have ultimate rest now that as I said that is a bad thing and that is a good thing but I think another factor that drives me is my dad has done well for himself with the job he has gone and so for me personally i i feel like i have got pressure on myself to to get to the level he has and to be able to to to, to purchase two houses and be able to support his family i feel like i need to i need to achieve that goal and maybe you can relate to me there maybe you can't but for me that is what drives me a lot of the time is is the idea of not being better but just to know that I'm not in his shadow and I am my own person because right now I'm going into the same industry that he has thrived in. I'm going into the same work that he has mastered. So for me, I'm coming into something in his shadow 
and that everyone knows me as his son. So there's a lot, I feel like there's pressure on me from myself, not from anyone else, but from myself to do well with my life. And I think that's why that, that passion that I have come from, and that's why I started this YouTube channel, because I could be doing something more. As well as college, let me do something more, let's do YouTube. As well as that, let's do training. And so I've gathered a lot of wisdom and a lot of knowledge in the past year of going through uncomfortable situations. Having the cold showers, doing the gym session, talking to people that I knew that I'm scared to talk to. Um, doing new stuff, joining a new running club. Talking to me, finding new friends. And all this stuff I've done in the past year and I I've, I've, think I've really learned a lot in terms of personal growth. I think I've really achieved that from going on the weekend, spending six, seven, eight hours on Rainbow Six Siege with my mates. I am now barely going on PlayStations, an hour a week maybe, to, to enjoy myself on a Sunday evening. Or, or, or going on social media once a week and stopping that habit. And I think... It's a good thing because I'm more productive and I'm more focused and I'm more ambitious and I've got big goals that I want to achieve. But also it's a bad thing because I'm not able to see my mates much anymore because I've always got this voice in the back of my head. And, you know, it's, it's a gift and a curse, but it's something that I wanted to share with you today. So that, I think that wraps up the first episode of this series. I'm not sure how long they're going to be. Obviously, I've just, I'm just starting off with bullet points. And that's the, the idea with it. Just to talk my thoughts during the week. Slowly, hopefully, they'll progress into higher quality stuff. But for right now, it is a start. And that is the hardest part to start something. So I have started. I have gone out of my comfort zone. Start a new series on my YouTube channel. Something that is new. Something that's different. Talking about stuff that makes me feel a bit uncomfortable. But maybe you can have gained some wisdom or knowledge from. So with that said. Thank you for listening. Or thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode.